Welcome back to Darlington Recycle Right, where we've made it all the way to the plant on our recycling journey, and it looks like we've arrived just in time. Well, a truck's just arrived now, so shall we go and take a look at what's happening inside? Yeah, let's go. So Bruce, we're here at the treatment plant. So the rubbish arrives in the truck, and then what happens? What is this that we're looking at here? Well, when we get it from the council, we get three products. Well, we have three tipping points. So we go to the glass first. This has come straight out of the truck. Okay, yeah. Collected at home and tipped here. Now, because this has been uh, cleaned and kept from any waste, it's pretty much fit for purpose. So that will be loaded when the base full, that will go off to the remelt and made back into bottles. So we don't do a great deal of work with that material, which is good news. Can all glass be recycled? Pretty much all packaging glass, which doesn't include uh, windows and flat glass. But all packaging glass, as you can see here, goes back into bottles. So is it not necessary to take the labels off of glass? Then? It isn't. When they go through the process, they'll be washed off and they recover that. The bottle tops equally can be gathered back when they go. They'll take the metals off uh, when they go through process. So this is our finished plastic. But again, we can come back to that after yeah. we've seen the problem. Yeah. So now we go to our paper bit. So the pile that we see here, this is uh, just come out the truck. Again, not a lot of uh, uh, contamination, but we still get carrier bags. We still get people putting the shredded paper into bags and we can tear that out as it goes into the baler. And I can see there, there is a bread bag that has got a plastic window on it. Does that belong there or should that not be put in the recycling bin? Ideally, food contain containers, whether it be bags or, or pizza boxes, are best kept out. So when it comes to cardboard that's got like this sort of branding on it that looks like a plastic sheen, is that all fine? Can that be recycled? Yes, yes. Uh, some paper mills have problems with it, where we send it, they're comfortable with it. And I can see a book in there as well. Are books recyclable? Books are. Uh, are they? What tends to be the problem is when you have metal uh, binders uh, and uh, uh, um, files and the likes of because the metal in it become a problem. So then we go to the third element of the truck, which is a combination of plastic and tin cans. So we run them down this dry line, which would then split the plastic through metal separators which can then take out the aluminium and the metal cans and then by default we should have the plastic where that we then want to send to market. Well I'm already feeling so much more informed than I did at the start of our journey and there's still so much more to find out. Join us next time to discover what happens when it's time for all this rubbish to leave the site. See you then.